So the running costs of the vector are very minimal. So at the capacity of this shed of 350 animals, there is around nine euro a day in electricity costs. Hi, my name is Connor. I'm a director here at Mazzolini Ireland. You're on our research and trial farm in the south of Ireland. It's a beef finishing unit. We produce around 40 animals a week, purchased from local marts and farms. We finish 1,800 animals per year here on this farm, mixture of short-term feeding programs, 70 to 90 days, and also some animals that we graze on land and feed over 30 to 50 day programs. We are running the Lely Vector here since the 22nd of December 2022. Our farm here is a combination of uh, seven different sheds, so we were unsure could it be retrofitted, but I suppose really it did fit straight into the farm uh, seamlessly with very minimal civils on the existing infrastructure. The kitchen then we put on a slightly greenfield site to one side of our yard. It's a very small shed, it's less than 2,000 square foot for a kitchen for up to 700 animals. The time that we actually physically spend here is reduced dramatically, so up to five hours a day we were trying to do different feeding programs, trying to do next level strategies and stuff and it was just taking too much time. We fill the kitchen twice per week, it takes about two hours and we might top it up occasionally in between. The vector is also not only feeding but also coming at minimum once an hour to push up the feed. So there's no worry about coming down on a Sunday evening or having to come down in the middle of the day with a sprung, push in feed or with a tyre. It's done automatically, it's one less job to worry about. Initially a couple of years ago when we started to deal with Mazzolini we were probably getting lightweight gains maybe 1.1, 1.15 I suppose. Putting in proper feeding strategies we built that straight up to 1.5 to 1.6 but since putting that vector in it allowed us to push on that extra bit, which we didn't think was achievable. So we got an extra 0.2 of a kilo a day, up to 1.8 kilos a day. The fact that the vector is feeding to appetite really allows us to increase our dry matter intakes. Anything up to 10 to 12% is easily achievable. Other things on top of that, I suppose, is uh, the management of the animals. The fact that they all finish evenly, there's no more culling out of animals. You can just go in after 70 days, 80 days, they will all be fit. Other factors then we were able to implement um, proper feeding programs. So we run starter diets, intermediate diets, finishing diets, and the vector automatically transitions from one diet into the next diet. So there's no acidosis or other issues as you move between them and increase levels of feeding. And I suppose the final thing on that probably is we can really target any herd health issues. So time to time we would have maybe mycotoxins come in in the feed and we can just target the binder on whatever diet is having the issue. So it's uh, a lot of other benefits on top of just the labour and the increased lightweight gains. Well the first thing that you notice when you drive into the yard is how quiet and content the cattle are. These are thriving cattle and there is a very good food conversion ratio but that feeds into the quality of the meat as well. Not only do you get higher grades in the quality of the cattle but the bone out potential from the cattle is way higher and there is an absolute consistency in the quality of the meat. Going up by one third of a grade or half a grade will give them a monetary value of about 6 to 12 cents per kilo. But the real benefit comes with the consistency of supply and therefore farmers with this system can demand a higher price for their cattle. The consistency of the product going into the room it has to be absolutely dead on every time. When you're using the conventional wagon and you have a man on a loader, there's always going to be a little bit more barley or a little bit uh, less of silage. Whereas with the robot, it is always consistent going into the cattle. So that degradation inside the room is always at a steady flow the whole time. On this farm alone, when we move from the wagon to the robotic system, the dry matter intakes were bigger. And it's so simple beef that if you get higher dry matter intakes into them of a well-balanced diet, they're going to get through an awful lot more feed and they'll actually eat a lot more feed in a given day than they will with an ordinary wagon and uh, you're going to get better performance. It's as simple as that. Probably three main factors that we look at when we calculate the RI year. One is obviously the labour saving up to 20,000 a year on feeding. On top of that then I suppose the 0.2 of a kilo a day of live weight gain that we've achieved has been massive in terms of uh, probably 40 to 50 euro an animal at today's beef prices but I suppose on top of that then we're able to finish animals in 10 days less so we got an immediate increase in our throughput here without adding any extra sheds of about 15 percent so overall for us combining those three factors it's an ROI of around three years so I would imagine anything between three to five years is definitely achievable. There's very little maintenance in it too. Uh, we get it serviced twice a year. There's no breakdowns, no spare parts. It all runs very seamlessly. 
from my experience, anyone that is interested in investing in feeding equipment or upgrading their existing feeding equipment, the Lely Vector should be on top of your list of considerations. It is accessible, it can be retrofitted to any yard, and the performance of your animals will far exceed your expectations.